Tangarai, Zimbabwe's main opposition party, the Movement for Democratic Change, or MDC, has again split. A new logo and a new leadership elected signaled what had many had feared would transpire after Tangarai's death in February. This Congress is the beginning of our dreams and hopes. The new MDCT splinter group, led by former MDCT party vice president Dr. Tukozani Kube, held an extraordinary congress in Bulawayo and elected a new national standing committee and new leadership. The faction referred to itself as a genuine MDCT and accused the Nelson Chamisa led faction of hijacking the leadership and diverting to the founding principles of the organization. We make no apology about calling to order those of our comrades who have hijacked our party to further their goals in political expediency at the expense of the general populace who make this movement for democratic change such a glorious organization to call home. Kobe accused the Chamisa faction of failing to live by the rule of law. Respect for constitutions does not just start at government level, but within the political system. Clarity begins at home. MDC was founded on constitutionalism and the rule of law. No one can truly be a proud member of our party if they cannot respect their own constitution. And we must never, ever allow our country to be ruled outside the constitution. The former spokesperson and now elected new deputy president of the faction, Albert Gutu, weighed in and called for party organs to remain independent. The National Council should not be seen to be usurping the powers of Congress as by purporting to elect the president or to elect any member, an elective or an elected member of the National Standing Committee. So they said the National Council, by unanimous resolution, should abide by what has always been in the constitution of the party, the original constitution of the party, i.e. the National Council is there to implement resolutions of Congress. Congress is, this, is the party's supreme decision-making body and or the policy-making body. But what has been happening of late was that the National Council was almost becoming the Congress. To such an extent that Congress was becoming irrelevant. The party says they will soon release their manifesto and the list of their candidates to contest in the 2018 elections. Meanwhile, the ruling ZANU-PF will hold their primary election next Sunday with more than 1,302 candidates set to battle the 210 National Assembly seats.